The President, please be seated. Le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. This morning, we took an adjournment when the defense counsel of the, uh, for the accused uh, was about to put questions to the accused concerning the implementation of the CPK's policy act as 21. So the next proceedings, uh, the Chamber would like to give the floor to the, to the Defense Council to put questions to the accused concerning the same topic before the floor. Je vous donne la parole. Ms. Canizares, thank you, Mr. Pre thank you, President. Before bringing up the few issues, uh, the few questions that I wish to put to Mr. Kangek Eu, I would like you to give me the leave to include uh, in these proceedings uh, the uh, uh, organization charge that Mr. Greg Craig Etchison modified. During the previous hearings, we asked the expert, Mr. Craig Etchison, to complete uh, an organization chart that he had uh, drawn up, and I would like, therefore, that this new completed organization chart be part of uh, the uh, elements uh, in uh, the uh, proceedings. Uh, Mr. President, I have a copy of this organization chart, says uh, Ms. Canizares, uh, which I can present to the Chamber. The President, uh, Judge Lavergne, you take the President, Mr. Judge Lavergne, I ask you to intervene. Alors, je crois que cette Judge Laverne, I believe uh, that this uh, element uh, was publics. examined during the public uh, hearings. Je, pour moi, and je veux savoir I just si simply want to know uh, if there are si any, any objections uh, to uh, this uh, request. Otherwise, we can consider that indeed uh, that this document is officially in case. Uh, Your Honours, we have no objections for it being in the case. As to the interpretation of it, obviously that would be subject to uh, the final submission. Okay, no objections. Maître Werner, no objections. So, Monsieur, you may do it. The President, the floor is yours. Président, je vous en prie. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Ms. Canizares, thank you, Mr. President. Concerning the first question which I wish to put to the accused, I would like to get back to an assertion uh, presented by Mr. Craig Etchison, who declared on the 25th of May 2009, and I am uh, referring myself to, to the transcript of that day, page 96, lines uh, 6 to 13, and I will uh, take the leave to read uh, the statements by uh, Mr. Uh, Etchison. The CPK uh, established as a priority obedience, discipline, uh, and it's insisted uh, enormously upon this, as well as on the strict implementation of the party's line, such as it was defined by uh, the supreme body of the party. Mr. Etchison continues, and therefore I could even claim that in most places and in, in most time, the, cadre did, the cadres did their best to implement the party's line 
dans la or in any case, as much as they could understand it, or at least understand its substance. So, do you agree with this assertion, uh, Mr. The accused, L'accusé. Mr. President, Monsieur le Président. I would like to state that Je souhaiterais déclarer within the internal rank of the Communist Party of Cambodia, every level of cadres du PCK, chaque niveau de cadre th thought constantly on the loyalty and respect constamment à la loyauté et au respect and it believed in the leadership level avait conviction dans le la direction nobody dared to violate anything Personne that was the reality enfreindre quelque règle que ce soit telle était la réalité that is my response voilà ma réponse Ms. Canizares, can we say, therefore, that you had a good understanding and a good of the political line of the party and of, it, and of the general principles of the party? The accused, Mr. President. Mr. President. At S21, nobody understood ah, the principle and the party's line better than me. Et la ligne du parti mieux que moi. It is only I who understood the most. Moi seul, c'est moi seul qui comprenais le plus cette ligne. Let me explain a little bit. I entered the revolution in 1964. En 64, je suis euh, j'ai rejoint les rangs de la révolution. I tried my best to study the party line. J'ai fait de mon mieux pour étudier la ligne du parti. Even if Natru entered the revolution at the same time as about me, si he did not pay much attention to the party slides moi, as I did. So I was the one who learned the most. De compréhension de la ligne du parti. Par conséquent, c'est moi qui ai le plus appris. So let me just say, I am the one who the most person who studied and understood the party line avait le plus étudié et le mieux compris la ligne du parti. Miss Canizares, est -ce que est cette is it this knowledge qui vous a that de bien allowed you to understand well your superior's instructions et de les mettre en application and to implement them de la manière la plus in the most faithful way possible? Accusé. The accused. To respond to this question, Après yes, I completely did that. Oui, c'est ce que j'ai fait et je l'ai fait de façon euh, complète. Miss Canizares, do you believe that this is why that you this is why you survived? The accused. L'accusé. This matter is the key matter that let me live until the present time. Que j'aimerais laisser pour l'heure. 
ou euh, qui, pardon, reprend l'interprète, qui me permet de vivre euh, jusqu'à euh, aujourd'hui. Pouvez-vous développer votre Ms. réponse, s'il vous plaît? Uh, Kalin, 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 The accuse. The fact uh, that let me live until now Le fait que je suis is from vivant. my observation involved uh, many things. Et intègre un, un certain nombre d'éléments. First, tout d'abord, I did what I was told. J'ai no fait more or less. ce qu'on me demandait de faire, ni plus ni moins. True. For Deuxième every nom. matter, I never concealed anything. Pour chaque question que ce soit, eh bien, je n'ai jamais dissimulé quoi que ce soit. So, to conclude my honesty and my endeavor to do things properly, et le fait que je me suis efforcé de faire correctement les choses, are the main factors that I survived. Sont les facteurs qui font que j'ai survécu. The rest who survived and whom I know, le reste des survivants et que je connais probably had similar qualities. Eh bien, ces personnes avaient présenté probablement des qualités similaires. This is uh, my response. Voilà ma réponse. Je vous remercie. Miss Canizarius, thank you very much. Lors du transport sur les lieux, when you were transported uh, to, to Tours Lane for the reconstruction on the 27th of February 2008, you expressed the desire to make a statement before the co-investigating judges, the victims, and some of your uh, former subordinates. Vous avez dit, and you said, cite, and I can quote this, it is document 48 de uh, slash 2, annex 2, <coughs> ERN e en français, 0018150606, en Khmer, and in Khmer, 00181503 and in English 00198082 and you stated that day and I can quote this Je suis en colère I am angered against myself qui avait cédé who gave in to des autres the other people's concepts and therefore aveuglément respected, followed criminel. their criminal orders blindly. And I regret this deeply. Cédé and I regret having given in to others' concepts and to have accepted the criminal tasks that I was entrusted with. Is, are, does this statement correspond well to your position in relation to what was committed more than 30 years ago? L'accusé. The accused, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. My remorse, Mon remorse. My suffering. Ma souffrance. Had no tangible image. Ne peuvent être exprimées de manière tangible. Every time I recalled the past. Chaque fois que je me souviens du passé. I was still attached to the remorse that I have had. C'est ce remords qui me rejoint. 
I will not betray my remorse. Je ne vais pas trahir ce remords. And I will not just let my remorse Et je fade ne vais pas away. me contenter de laisser s'évaporer ce remords. I will always remember it. Je me souviendrai toujours de ce remords. I am so painful. Je ressens une telle douleur. I always say the wrong decision for one minute would lead to je dis Sorrow and remorse for the entire une life. Une décision, une mauvaise décision, conduit à ressentir ce remords pendant toute la vie. Therefore, when I bow my head to be tried in this court, je me suis, j'ai incliné ma tête dans le cadre de ce procès pour que ce procès ne soit fait dans, devant cette to chambre. L'objet est ici que je sois traduit en justice pour les crimes commis. I will not put the entire blame on my superior. Je ne porterai pas le blâme, je ne ferai pas porter le blâme sur les épaules de mes subordonnés. De mes supérieurs. To my superior. And I will not blame my subordinates as well. Je ne ferai well. pas porter le blâme non plus sur les épaules de mes subordonnés. That means I will not cela signifie Go away from my responsibility. que je ne vais pas me dérober à mes responsabilités. This crime, although Ce crime, it falls within the role of my superior, qu'il relève de la responsabilité, de la compétence de mes supérieurs. It is also fall within my role. Il relève également de mon rôle. At S21, AS21. All the crimes I will be responsible for. Je suis responsable de tous les crimes. I will not blame anybody Je or any ferai... subordinate, not at all pas porter le chapeau par qui que ce soit, par quelque subordonné que ce soit, du tout. The crimes committed throughout Les the crimes entire country commis à travers l'ensemble du pays. As I stated in my statement during the opening of the trial, Ma déclaration lors de l'ouverture du procès devant cette chambre. I am responsible. Comme je l'ai dit, je suis responsable. Ideologically and psychologically. Idéologiquement, psychologiquement. Was the result suffered on the entire population of Cambodia? Qu'a subi l'intégralité de la population cambodgienne? I, I would like to share. Je souhaiterais I would like to uh, interrupt because uh, we discussed this afternoon the CPK policy and implementation. What the accused is stating here is more de la mise en um, de la du PCK. the last statement or a statement which is not covered cas, by, by the subject and I would like ne, to uh, go to the issue that we uh, want to discuss uh, this afternoon and that the defense comes back 
to the issue and asks questions to the accused on the issue. Thank you. revenir aux propos prévus au débat. Lorsque Mrs. Canizares, uh, my learned colleague, earlier on when you asked, uh, you put questions uh, to the accused, we did not interrupt you. Mr. Kengekyo is in the process of explaining something that is of the utmost importance. I don't see what entitles you to prevent him from providing these explanations. So I will be thankful if he is allowed to proceed. The President, the, President. the objection made by Studensky is rejected. Et rejeté. And the defense can continue Nous the la questions à poursuivre. relating to the facts Ces questions portant sur les faits. to be placed before the chamber, that is the implementation of the CPK policy at S21. The accused. Accusé. I would like to continue. Je souhaiterais poursuivre. The implementation of the policy throughout the country, le pays, as well as at the S21 office. Au centre de sécurité at S21 office, there were crimes committed on the human beings for more than 12,000 people. And throughout the country, I do not have any concrete figure for the de victimes à travers le pays, je people pas who le suffered because exact, of the implementation of the policy. So I was part of those to be blamed. De la politique du PCK. Par conséquent, je because suis I hate my role parti, car joué also as a member of the party. Également en tant que membre du parti. Uh, I would not escape from my responsibility. I acknowledge the mistake, the mistake that I did because of the implementation of the party's policy at S21. Which this policy is the most criminal policy worse than those gang of four from China. And more than 12,000 people suffered at S21 office, and I can never forget it. So this is my acknowledgement to the chamber, to the entire Cambodian population, so that they understand the issue. And it is my remorse, my remorse in wrongly implementing the party's policy. Et mon remords est ici exprimé vis-à-vis de cette mise en œuvre de la politique du parti. Monsieur le Président, your honor, with your leave, I would like to uh, suggest 
the viewing of two extracts uh, from the video recording of the reconstitution on 27th February 2008 in Tourslen. In these uh, excerpts, I, there are points that I would like to put questions to uh, the accused. These two excerpts would take up about 15 minutes. The president, Le president. Uh, could you please elaborate further of your attempt to have the observes of that video clips uh, projected uh, regarding the reenactment of S21? We would like um, to hear the, the reason. Um, S21. Could you please? Uh, share with us the relevance of that uh, video clips uh, regarding this topic. I'm afraid uh, that uh, the excerpts uh, may be not relevant to the implementation of the CPK's policy at uh, uh, being uh, debated now. And uh, the reason we asked uh, is because that uh, we want to make sure that that fact is re related to what we are discussing now. The video clips of uh, that uh, video excerpts are related to the operation of S20 at S21. And uh, there will be also other sub-topics uh, divided uh, regarding the armed uh, conflict. Uh, so after the questions uh, are put uh, regarding the armed conflicts, then there would be sub-categories of the, uh, the facts uh, to be uh, debated so that the parties are well informed and prepared. And so we could, in this case, present a such piece or such document. Mrs. Canizares. Cette demande, Monsieur le Président, Your Honor, vient this dans la suite request logique, comes as a logical follow-up to my earlier question. I'm referring to qui, an excerpt in which the accused talks about the implementation of the CPK policy at S21. Et il donc de ces and déclarations it contains his uh, statements referring to, in particular, his feelings at the time of that reenactment and his feelings in relation to the implementation of said policy. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous expliquer Could you quoi explain to la us diffusion de cette vidéo va apporter quelque chose de supplémentaire par rapport à l'audience Puisqu'on a déjà entendu l'accusé à l'audience, il s'est exprimé in, in sur cette question de la mise en œuvre de la politique du PCK à S21. Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire par rapport à l'intérêt what is the added value for us to uh, see that video excerpt in addition to what we already have? Je pense Mrs. Canizares, in my opinion, this video was shot under extremely specific Mr. circumstances. Uh, Mr. Kangeo was revisiting the actual place, site of S21, and in this video he can be seen making a statement whereby he says that he is tremendously deeply moved when he returns to S21. And I think that to experience, to see him feeling these feelings when he revisits the place itself, the site itself is S21, is in itself added value to the statement that he is making today and here in this chamber. It is very important, this uh, hearing also being a public hearing, 
it is also an important opportunity to be able to show the reactions of Mr. Kengekyo at the time when he revisited the site of S-21. President Judge Katrai, you take the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for that explanation. Uh, it seems to me Merci that um, the expression of the accused's uh, feelings um, is uh, an important matter for the court to consider. However, it also seems to me compte. that there may be Mais more appropriate times to um, consider this aspect of the um, material on the case file, such as uh, during the portion exemple, of the trial on the character of the accused. It seems to me that there is very limited relevance uh, to the topic of CPK policy uh, in this matter. Do you have any comment on that? Mrs. Canizares. Dans la mesure où je considère Inasmuch as I consider that the excerpts for which I was asking the chamber leave to show them in this hall had to do with the accused talking about the implementation of CPK policy, CPK policy at S21, it would have stemmed from this consideration that at this point in the debate it could have uh, uh, been worthwhile looking at these excerpts at this time. Although I do understand that looking at these excerpts at, other, at another point in time during these proceedings would also have merit. The President, regarding the request made by the Defence Council, the Chamber
would like to inquire the AV officer to tell us how much time is needed so that the video clips can be protected as requested by the Defense Council. The court officer, could you please Je à lui si liaise with this matter? And uh, the defense counsel, uh, could you give us any clear indication as uh, to which reference the materials pour, uh, are to be projected so that they can link projected. to that uh, clips? immediately and are you sure that 15 minutes will be used for the clips? Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Mrs. Gonizares, thank you, Your Honor. The reference of the file is D48 slash 2 R R E R N en Khmer the two excerpts amount to respectively 3 minutes 54 seconds and 14 minutes 39 seconds. So it's a total of 17 or 18 minutes. The President, uh, Judge Katra, you take the Judge floor. Judge je vous en prie. Another matter, um, Council. Do these extracts show any witnesses who have yet to give evidence? Because as so far they uh, still have pseudonyms and are not uh, to be published. It may be a reason for deferring this until later. And sorry to interrupt, but I would just add that the same would apply for civil parties who are under pseudonym as well. Les parties civiles sont également protégées, et donc cette remarque vaut pour elle aussi. Je crains, Mrs. Madame, effectivement, que votre Honor, remarque soit I, tout à fait fondée. I'm afraid you, you, your words of caution are well taken. I had not remembered about that. Well, the choices are cutting the live feed to the public, which defeats the purpose of, um, uh, at least part of the purpose of showing these excerpts, or delaying the showing of the excerpts to a later stage. Je pense, Madame, effectivement que Your Honor, says uh, Mrs. Canizares, yes, I think uh, you are right. We should postpone the showing of this video for the reasons that you have mentioned. The President. So the defense counsel stated clearly that uh, the excerpt uh, can be shown later at any appropriate time in the future. So next, uh, we would like to know whether the defense counsel still uh, wish to put further questions to the floor is yours.
Je vous remercie Mrs. Canizares, thank you, Your Honor. As far as the defense is concerned, we have no further questions to put to, it, to the accused. Thank you. The president. So it is time to hear the implementation of the CPK policy at S21, and uh, this session comes to an end. Uh, but we now move to another topic, uh, the fact concerning the armed uh, conflict. So far, uh, we have heard the expert, nous avons le témoin expert, the expert sur cette question, uh, Mr. Nayan Chanda. Nayan Chanda. However, the court has not put questions to the accused Mais concerning the armed conflict. conflict. So question from now on, armé. the parties are informed that we are now in the session of uh, the fact c'est donc le sujet que nous allons aborder maintenant, les faits relatifs au conflit the armé. Accused, please be prepared. Uh, whether are you prepared? Uh, have Monsieur you got all the documents ready? Êtes-vous prêt? Disposez-vous des documents nécessaires? The accused. Mr. President, Accusé. in general, I have uh, been prepared. Oui, Monsieur le Président, je suis prêt de façon générale. During the previous sessions, uh, the accused stated in response uh, to paragraph 28 and that uh, the accused has not contested the existence of the armed conflict starting from the 31st of December 1977. The question the chamber would like to ask to the accused is that uh, whether the 31st of December 1977 is the consistent with the, the radio broadcast in Phnom Penh about the invasion of the Vietnamese into Cambodia and that it is the declaration of the cut of the diplomatic relation with the Socialist Republic of Vietnam uh, at that time, I mean the, the 31st of December 1977. The accused Mr. President, it is true. Oui, Monsieur le Président, c'est exact. On the 31st Question. of December 1977, said the President, uh, was it uh, regarding the radio broadcast concerning the invasion of the Vietnamese troops into Cambodia and also the cut of the diplomatic relation with the Vietnam. Vietnam is that uh, the right date? The accused, uh, I think that's in, uh, that event is true. President, were you aware that the severing of diplomatic relations between Vietnam and Cambodia. Au de la des relations entre le et le How did it happen? Cela passé? 
Is it through radio broadcast or was it from the upper echelon to you? De la radio, ou est-ce que cela vous a été the accused, Mr. President? Par, uh, vos I listened to Mais the radio ça. broadcast, but in details. I could not really recall that event, à la radio, mais, uh, but I would not uh, reject it. It happened, but I just cannot recall. I really paid attention on the event took place on the 6th of January 1978. The day Pol Pot went to, to celebrate a, Borekila, a ceremony, pour, uh, y présider une ceremony, and he called it the commemorandum of the Cambodian army victory over the Vietnamese army. So I remember that better than the radio broadcast. I think there was a radio broadcast, but I just cannot recall it clearly. So in conclusion, I heard on the radio, but I clearly remember I heard I knew it on the 6th of January, 1978. The president, can Christian. you recall the arrival of the Vietnamese que for the first time at S21? Do you recall probably in which month and what year? C'était quel mois, quelle année The accused. Réponse. On this matter, there were two stages. Il y a eu deux étapes. The first stage, once in a world, one or two of them arrived, de temps en temps, il y avait deux ou trois including qui nous some Vietnamese soldiers, in the small amount, one or two, Par petit that was in the first ou deux. stage. And for the first stage, there was no orders to Il get the voice from these Vietnamese people for the radio broadcast. However, after the 6th of January, their voice was broadcast on the radio. Mais après, and I still can recall a, a voice that, I, that was used uh, for Et broadcast. The name was Vo Ding Ngao, a former naval Lieutenant of the Vietnamese soldier. De la Marine Vietnamienne. At that time, Nguyen Yang Thieu was the president, Nang and Nguyen Cao Ki was the deputy, president. prime minister, and the Cambodian called them the Thieu Ki soldiers. He came in for information and was arrested by the Cambodian soldiers, and his voice was broadcasted on the radio. The president, in terms of the timing, the, the first arrival of the Vietnamese to S21, can you recall in which year or which month? Was it in 76 or 77? Because the chronological event developed, and as you understand, the, agreed the existence of the conflict on the 31st of December 77, and there are also documents showing the presence of the Vietnamese citizen at S21. And there are several stages when they arrived, and I want to know. When the, Vietnamese so, when the Vietnamese people were sent to S21, I would like to know in which month or which year, if you can recall it. The accused, Mr. President, the Vietnamese ethnics living in Cambodia, yes, after the 17th April, they were arrested. When they were an event involving them, they were arrested. Uh, also, at the same time, people who entered the Cambodian ter territory were arrested, either the Vietnamese civilian or the former Vietnamese soldier of the Republic of Vietnam. So I cannot recall it. 
I think it depends on the document and the list at S21, but I myself cannot recall it. As I said, in the first stage, only a few arrived at one time. And I, I acknowledge and accept the list of those people at S21. Mr. President, Judges of the bench, do you have any question to be put to the accused regarding the arms conflict? In fact, if you have, the floor is yours. From. Judge Cartwright, the floor is yours. Judge Cartwright, I beg you. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Kang Gek U, you have said that. You do not dispute Monsieur, that there was an armed conflict between Vietnam and Democratic Kampuchea from 31 December 1977, but you have also said just now that you recall very few details of some of the events about which the President questioned you.
fait que nous serions capables de défendre l'intégrité du territoire. From September Et moi-même, de septembre 1975, j'ai essayé de travailler at S21. avec Nat so whatever à happened S21. Outside, let it happen. Et ce qui s'est passé en dehors de S21 m'intéresse à ce que je me suis concentré sur ce que and j'avais à faire à S21 et sur les institutions que nous avions pour ce qui est des Vietnamiens. Vietnamese soldiers or the Vietnamian Vietnamese government based on the order of S21. J'ai suivi I just accomplished my task. So this is my devoir. description of the conflict between voilà Vietnam and Cambodia and I did not have a deep detailed knowledge of the conflict. De this is only from my recollection. Voilà ce dont je peux me souvenir. Thank you. In a, an interview conducted before the military court on the 7th of July 2002, ERN number English 00329129 to 00329129. Khmer 00095692 and French 00329129 Five nine two zero zero three two seven three six two. You said that two or three days after the seventeenth of April. You met Son Sen, and he assigned some more work relating to prisoners at M13. When you met Son Sen, did he mention anything about conflict between Vietnam and Democratic Kampuchea? The accused, the honor, Madame la juge. I made some saint from what I can recall at the Damnak Smatch on the 30th of April 1975. That was the time that I said he asked me to finish the remaining task that is to release all the prisoners at M13B and at M13A and to send some to the Office 99 and the rest were released. That's what I said uh, previously. I also said Uh, that was the time my superior gave me a motorbike. That was what happened, but he did not mention about any conflict. The political conflict was learned through the study session a long time ago. Did he give you no other assignment after giving you a motorbike? until uh, June of 1975. The accused, Your Honour, at that time, he asked me to wait to receive information Thank you. 
What exactly did you do, do during this period when you had finished your work at M13 uh, and were given your new assignment uh, or when you met again in the, on the 20th of June 1975? The accused, like your honor, on the 30th of April 1975 until the 20th of June 1975, I already told the co-investigating judges that I don't want to use their terms again. I took a, a ride on the motorbike and uh, I took the motorbike to meet uh, the brother of Son Sen to wait uh, to receive information when I should come to Phnom Penh and after waiting for so long I asked for work uh, no for marriage but my fiance uh, asked me to delay the marriage uh, plan because if I had uh, been in trouble then uh, the marriage would not last anyway so I had to wait uh, to receive further information so by the end of May I met Jing On I asked Jing On to Ask the upper echelon to put me to the commerce, to uh, correction to the industry department. Yes, thank you. We, uh, I do recall you giving uh, testimony about that previously. Uh, I'm interested in this period to know if you heard any news on the radio or from any senior le leaders about armed conflict with Vietnam. The accused. During that time, I did not have any contact with my superior without any communication I was not assigned uh, any assignment politically so I did not uh, have that information during this early period in democratic Kampuchea what was the status of communications generally? Were there radio broadcasts? Had they started publishing the revolutionary flag? The accused regarding the revolutionary flag magazines, I would like to state that Je voudrais dire que I have I had known the revolutionary flags for some time already before it was uh, the red flag it converted to the revolutionary magazines uh, uh, flags magazine and uh, I did not remember I, how many issues I missed uh, reading the magazines but then after I started to function in my office that I started to receive a good collections of the magazines and what about radio broadcasts did you hear any during this period that referred to conflict with Vietnam the accused to my knowledge the Communist Party of Kampuchea and uh, the Workers' Party of Vietnam uh, later on converted to another party. They uh, hit 
the conflict. They met it secretly and they did not reveal any information about the conflict. And I could not recall whether such uh, information ever broadcast on radio, and I can't recollect at all. Thank you. Moving now to the period when you were appointed as Deputy Chairman of S21, did you begin making regular reports to Son Sen as Deputy Chairman? The accused, Your Honor, when I received the position as the Lorsque deputy chairman, nommé, there were two stages. It was the first stage, the 15th of August 1975 to October. During that period, I was assigned to collect documents from the uh, villas and the Republican institutions so that I could keep uh, those documents. And sometimes I try to interrogate uh, the detainees and also annotate on some documents, but uh, I only became fully operational on October until March 1976 when not left, that I became the full right uh, chairman. So uh, my work classified into steps like that. So are you saying that your regular reports to Son Sen did not begin until uh, October of 1975? The accused, Your Honor, from October 1975, and ever since, uh, when Son Sen asked uh, me to work with him, he asked both of us, uh, I and Nat, the chairman and the deputy chairman. So the report uh, started from then, but based on the surviving documents, I believe that it can be understood that uh, how I reported uh, back then, beginning from that date or not. Did your daily reports uh, by telephone begin after you were chairman? or while you were still deputy chairman? The accused, your honor, the telephone I used, uh, I used it about a few months after Nat had left. Thank you. In your interview with the co-investigating judges on the 5th of May, uh, D72, English ERN 0042822004300, Khmer 001, French 0018 6191. You speak of Son Sen mentioning the border dispute at Mondulkiri, but you could not recall whether that was said when you were appointed to work at S21 in August 
1975, or when you became chairman in March of 1976, are you able to recall anything more of this conversation now? The accused, Your Honor, I can briefly recollect that incident when my superior, Son Sen, present this information to me. I think that day there was a meeting of the division to solve this issue and others, but this matter became apparent during the presentation. Sun Sen turned back and pointed to the map. And everyone could see that uh, he said that the conflict happened in that area. It was about 38 kilo, uh, square kilometers. And in that conflict, what happened, I cannot recall. I remember him pointing to that particular area of conflicts. And it is not the presentation that he gave uh, between he and Dai, but uh, at that time, Nat left S21 already. I was promoted as the chairman of S21. Thank you. Uh, and was it clear to you then that this was a conflict with the Vietnamese and an armed conflict? The accused. At that time, it was not obvious that uh, there was any mentioning of armed conflict. So far as I remember, there was a matter of the Vietnamese army who was sent to S21 after the 15th of August 1977. I saw one Vietnamese army was sent to S21. I did not know whether he had been sent earlier. But of course, I noticed his presence at S21. Later, from the 15th of August 1977, you reported to Nguyen Chia. How often did you report in person? The accused. L'accusé. I would like to state that the frequency that I was asked to work was not much different from that uh, when Son Sen asked me to do Il so uh, in three days de or in five days, the, then I would be called to work for Donc them. Uh, but I think the difference in communication between you and Nguyen Chia and you and Son Sen was that Nguyen Chia did not use the telephone very much. Is that correct? The accused, Your Honor. Uncle Nguyen never used telephone. I don't know why. Son Sen used telephone as a basis for communication with me. Thank you. In the same interview with the co-investigating judges of the 5th of May, to which I have just referred, you also said that Nguyen Chia spoke of the Brevier line to you at the end of 1977. 
Do you recall any details about that discussion? The At that time, I was asked to work face to face with him. I don't know whether it was the time when Le Juan just left Cambodia. He said, when we came, uh, when he came, we only uh, he talked only about the Brevier line. The, so we would not be easily cheated by way of discussing uh, that the previous line. Brevier, I think uh, this is what I could recall. Mr. President, this may be a moment to take the adjournment. The president, the chamber, will take a 15-minute adjournment. Nous allons faire une pause de 15 minutes.